One person says, uh, hug is a powerful drug, is it not? Absolutely. Absolutely. There is a beautiful video on TED yeah. called uh, the Happy Drug or o Oxytocin. Oxytocin. Uh, let's get a we're link to that. We're going to have a link on yes. when, when we post the video of the snippet of this. Yeah. And we'll have a link also on the Time of the Premium side. I'd like to say something we're... about hugs, though. Yeah, yeah okay. please. Let's do it. Um, so, actually, it's kind of a weird thing. I That used to be a form of anxiety for me, was hugging people. I didn't like touching people like that, and I figured out it had come from you know, stuff way down the road. But um, So I, I think that it has to do with the purpose behind it, because I always saw it as, you know, these people are being fake, like all they're doing is hugging me because that's what the social cue is whenever we leave or join each other, instead mm -hmm. of this is a genuine feeling of me sharing how much I love you. And so that that always caused an anxiety thing for me. So, well, in the purpose, I guess, is still important. It is. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I used to have the exact understanding. Same thing. Intention is very powerful for everything. Yeah. So pe people need to learn how to hug. Right. Just kind of, we actually we've actually done some 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 work on that very topic at some of the. We have, uh, yeah, we have videos yeah. from a workshop too. Of, we did a hug. We did a hug workshop. workshop. I was, was like, okay, so let's just get in there and you know. <laughs> <laughs> if you've ever had a hug for seven minutes in a genuine way, it'll blow your mind. It'll change. I don't think I, I don't think I've had a hug for seven seconds <laughs> in <laughs> the last four or five years. It's life. That was another thing that I was gonna say is uh, yeah. genuine hugs. You can tell are five seconds plus. It's to the point where you reach that comfortability, and then they stay a little bit longer, and you're like, okay, I can do this. <laughs> you know? Wait, wait till you hit seven minutes, and it, you're, you're on the five minute mark where you're starting to keep distance with each other, and then both of you just pull each other in even closer, and you're like, wow, this is real, and you just break down, and you start crying, and they start crying, and then everyone's happy, and you oh come out of that. Oh my god, that sounds awesome. Okay, so let's read the question. Is, is Jordan, how does one bring more of a spiritual family around them? As an indigo, I'm just trying to find others to share that with. And I think that's a really good question to ask because there's a lot of people out there who are who are all alone in in their world, and the only sense of connection that they that they have is with groups like this that they can find them online. Mm -hmm. Can and, I can I ask a question to that question? Please. Yeah. Um, who we actually told about? Your idea of spiritualism. I think that was my biggest uh, block too, is I didn't share my view at all, so I never found anyone because mm -hmm. no one was aware. And if everyone's all quiet and not sharing that side, how does anyone know? Can we like give some specific things that that could be helpful to someone out there that's looking for that? You know, oh, I mean, how, to how to how to communicate? Because like one of them was, you know, take a little bit of a chance, go find some people that you think might be. Um, look for signs that, that, and, they, yeah, that look, they're open to and, and, and maybe we can talk about it a little bit. And then, you know, another way would be go specifically to some places where you know that there are people that are talking about that kind of stuff and go there. Um, for example, you know, like we're doing here, that's one of the things that we're trying to create with Planet of Freedom is a, is, a, is a very specific intentional place for people to come and say, look, I want to go from here to there and I want to hang out with some people who have had some experience doing that so I can find a way to do it for me and how I can make that transformation happen for me. Um, so go out and find some other places that, that you can get involved in, you know, some online ones are great, maybe even some physical ones. Is there, are there any physical places around you? Yoga um, studios or, or, or gem shops? Yeah. Or, yeah. And, yeah. And one of the easiest ways i found to invite a safe conversation for that is not to state your opinion, but ask them a question that invites theirs mm -hmm. and open that conversation. And based on their response, you can kind of gauge how much you can actually give of yourself if you're nervous about sharing that much about yourself. You, you, that way you can kind of control the conversation and, and how they perceive you. And ask that question and then really listen. Mm -hmm. So that your intention behind asking the question is to really hear them. Yeah, rather than just wait until it's your turn to speak so that you yeah, can yeah. tell them about how what great your idea is. <laughs> yeah. Listen so, with um, the, don't listen with the intent to reply, listen with the intent to listen. Mm -hmm. yes. Yeah, that's yeah. good. Yeah. Um, on the last question, I was I had gone through that a lot of last year, um, and so my advice to whoever asked that was to find that vibration within you and to be true to that. Because if you are being true to that, then who really cares what somebody else thinks about 
you know, yeah. whatever you're saying. And then you're yeah. in turn aligning yourself with whatever that vibrations, you know, is to you. And then you are that and achieve more into your life, you know. Yeah. Um, yeah. Because now like I'm here. And a year ago, I could have never said that. And I had no one to talk to about any of this. And I felt alone and lost. And so now I'm here talking to however many other people. <laughs> Oh. Yeah, yeah. Um, so I don't know if, if the mic picked it up, but Marie just asked me if I would explain how that's a female perspective. And I just said that's a very female perspective. And um, and and this I, I like we're gonna have the male explain <laughs> why what the female okay. said okay. is a female perspective. Okay. That's gonna be interesting. I like that. And, and, and yeah, put a box around it for us, Jordan. Spirals <laughs> female energy. So this is the male perspective of the female perspective about how it's a female perspective. But I want to do that by, by bringing up a contrast because I used to do this thing too and Ray would call me on it all the time where I'd be like, well, just follow your heart. Just do what feels right. Just follow your heart. And he was always like, what does that actually look like? <laughs> <Right>? <laughs> and I was like, huh. Yeah, that's a very good question because follow your heart is is kind of um, in the land of, it's, 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 it's more of a feeling thing, right? And, and as the female energy often goes is is what feels really right or what feels good to you and kind of just acting from that place of feeling which often isn't describable in the form of a of a structure right so morgan you're just saying like you know just 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 emanate the vibration that you're trying to create and then and then you'll create it is a very female way because it's just not it's not like a structure of going okay first do this then do this then do this it's just like well just just feel it thank you everyone for being here this was fantastic. Yeah. Yeah. It was it was good to see all you guys. So just so just um so that everyone watching and everyone here also just is aware, we're doing this every Saturday, same time, uh at, at, at twelve noon PST. And um, you know, the invitations are on the, the, the Panic of Freedom forums and then and you know, we send out the emails to members. And also if you're interested, if you're watching and you're interested in getting a, a part of these calls. Just go to panicthefreedom.com and sign up to our new email list or check your email if you're a part of the old one. Um, we're refreshing our email list so that um, we're going to do a brand new relaunch for uh, for this new year. I'd also like to make, you know, just make an invitation too that um, anybody who'd like to get on a call who, who has some good questions that they'd like to ask and, and some good things that they'd like to talk about, um, why don't you go ahead and send us an email at support at panictofreedom.com. Yeah. Let us know that, that question that you want to ask or what you want to talk about and let's see if we can get you on the call. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, that was, that was perfect. Uh. <laughs>